about um, creativity, critical thinking, and uh, uh, also just joining the dots with what um, uh, Mr. Uh, Sade mentioned early on about empathy. And I know that Mr. Rajesh Sharma is very uh, passionate about emotional quotient and uh, being a very strong uh, people-oriented business leader. He has always been a strong advocate of uh, EQ. So Mr. Sharma, if um, I could uh, ask, how does the EQ play out in the pandemic times and beyond? And how do you think that this is likely to uh, sort of uh, emerge important element of competencies in the uh, for the um, uh, young professionals, if you could share your thoughts. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Premji. And this, uh, I feel this is the most important uh, element of the discussion, which is EQ, whether we call it uh, EQ or we call it EI. I strongly feel that uh, you know, once uh, uh, people complete their formal education in college, uh, where IQ plays the most important role, and once uh, somebody gets into the real world uh, of operations, EQ plays the most important role after IQ. You know, there's at times people have said that EQ is more important than IQ in the real life. And my earlier two speakers uh, have, you know, uh, touched upon few of the points which are part of the EQ. Um, e and uh, EQ looks to be a very big word, but if I put it in one single sentence and if I have to say that what EQ is, it is nothing else but understanding, expressing, and managing the good relationships and solving proper under problems under pressure. Nothing else. You know, it is, it is actually because once we get into the corporate world, once we get into the real life, uh, we have to work with teams. So it is how we communicate with our colleagues, with our bosses, with our peers, uh, with our subordinates, with our customers. How do we work uh, in the groups and align ourselves to the organizational uh, thought process and also then build long lasting relationships uh, of collaboration. This is the most important thing which we actually uh, build because, you know, uh, in, in my real and my a uh, whole discussion will revolve around my practical experiences. And I will say that, you know, there's a distinct example, which I remember there was a, this brilliant uh, gentleman who came from one of the top uh, educational institutions in the country. He, he did his engineering from top institute and uh, he also did his MBA from uh, top institute. And incidentally, I became his first boss in marketing. So while in his job he was he was very however every second day morning at 9 am in the morning will come to my table and i will get complained that he has fought with this person fought with that person and uh, there is some kind of uh, you know disconnect which has happened and my first half an hour, I have to listen to him. If I don't do that, then every 10 minutes, 10 minutes, he will keep coming to me without realizing that I am also busy in something. So what I'm trying to say is that, and it is, I'm talking 25 years and we, he has also changed four companies. I have in my life changed only two companies. So I worked only for two companies, but still for any disconnect which he, when he has his, with his boss, he calls me up still and I have to listen to him for 45 minutes. So this is very, very important aspect. He has matured over a period of time, but his still that basic thing has not gone. I have strongly believed always that your professional life and personal life are all intertwined. So how you behave in your personal life, it gets into your personal professional life as well. So that's one thing. And second thing is that while hiring, you know, uh, from the EQ perspective, I always see that beyond the functional capabilities, does this person fit in my culture? That's very important. So is this person fitting in the organizational culture? How will he be able to carry along with his 
peer group and his bosses will he fit in uh, does he have the right attitude towards people and towards work can he do that you know uh, daniel coleman is the actually uh, famous author who has written a uh, lot about uh, eq and he actually uh, you know set, sets out five basic elements uh, which is self awareness self regulation self awareness means do you know about yourself do you know are you aware of your own emotions and how does it affect others and that self regulation means that does not mean that uh, you know you don't have to express but how you express yourself do you wait for the right time to express you just blabber out motivation he is talking about the third one which is that how do you take care of intrinsic motivation beyond the promotions and reward external rewards how do you and it is more relevant in today's world when we are all working remotely and as madhu was saying that you know some people have joined a year and a half back and still she has not met them i mean i have my daughter's example she joined a company last march and she has not seen uh, her office till now she just went want to take the lap so sitting alone at home and during the uh, you know zoom meetings or microsoft meetings uh, it is only that time when you are exposed to your bosses or your peers there is no interpersonal you know discussions which are happening so to how you keep yourself motivated in this remotely connected world and then how do you uh, you know second thing uh, fourth he is he is explaining about uh, empathy which rajiv also said and also madhu said because uh, you know how do you understand the others feelings and then responding appropriately that's very important now listening to that guy every day or third second day for 25 minutes was my part of empathy which i could give it to him i did not have solutions ever always for him but he listening to him was enough for him and he used to perform and then social skills is the last thing which he is talking about which means active listening how do you interact in the groups how do you interact with your uh, peer group and with your bosses and your with your customers so these are some of the things which are very very important when you move out of college and get into the corporate world and again for the sake of repetition i will say that once you get out of the college your iq helped you to get in, into the college but to be successful in your life it is the eq which will be more important which will take you far far ahead in your life and it will determine what altitudes you can achieve in your life